Hello guys, welcome to ePython Lab. Today I'm gonna show you how to develop a Python script to send a free SMS uh, message to any mobile number. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you uh, how to use a free SMS uh, gateway API and write a simple uh, Python script to send SMS message from your Python script. Let's get started. First, uh, you have to register to uh, smsgateway24.com. It is a free SMS gateway. You can just uh, uh, go to your web browser and register to this SMS gateway uh, website. Uh, so this is a free SMS gateway website. You can uh, register to this SMS gateway. Once you register, you have to download uh, the mobile application, Android mobile application that uh, allow you to enable your mobile devices as SMS gateway and allow you to send any mobile numbers. So you have to download SMS gateway 24 APK and install on your comp uh, your mobile phone. Okay, this is uh, for Android only. It is not working for uh, other mobile devices. Once you download, <clears throat> you can uh, turn on or start this SMS gateway on your Android uh, phone and uh, log into the same username and password you, you have been logged in on the website. Then once you connect the SMS gateway uh, Android phone to SMS gateway server, you can find API uh, and looking for uh, the getting down and find this one. This is uh, SMS sending API URL and the URL, you have to copy this. And also looking forward uh, down and looking for token. The token is very important. When you are uh, registering to SMS gateway and connected to your Android device, automatically it will generate a token which is found on the right side of this. This is your uh, token. And uh, you have to use send to. Send to is just uh, append the phone number or destination number to send to SMS. And the basic, the body, uh, this is the API uh, attributes or parameters uh, that you are going to use in your Python script. This uh, body is used to just append the SMS message that's gonna be sent to the destination number. Uh, device ID is very important. Once you register to this SMS gateway and uh, the Android uh, application is started on your Android phone, the device list uh, gonna be listed out here. You can click here and you can see the device ID. So this device ID is important. Uh, so you have to copy and uh, use this device ID uh, in your... So this is all about, so you have to copy this and you have to remember the token, send it to, and the body and device ID. Those are the parameters that the API uses. Okay, let's get back to the uh, text editor. And uh, now let's write uh, a script. First, we have to just import the request. This is a Python uh, built-in library that allow us to uh, send an HTTP request to the server through API, uh, through a URL, and also allow us to get or fetch uh, data uh, or resources from a uh, uh, server. Okay, now let's uh, define a class, uh, our class SMS Gateway 24. And uh, we have to just, as I have told you, uh, previously have to copy the URL, this copy from the website, uh, this one. This is the URL and the uh, identifiers are very important. So you have to just copy your token, as I have told you, when you are registered to your uh, this SMS gateway, the ID, uh, token automatically generated your own uh, specific token. So you have to find here and use the uh, parameter token and you have to assign uh, this token to uh, variable here. And the other is uh, device ID. This is the most important attribute that API takes. 
uh, your device ID. So when you are uh, connected your Android device to SMS Gateway 24, the device ID uh, gonna be automatically registered, uh, I mean, uh, generated and you can copy the device ID uh, here uh, and use your own device ID, okay? Uh, that's good. And uh, the other is just uh, because this is API request and uh, uh, it's just send this uh, the body and headers al uh, uh, along with the parameters as an identifier. And then we define uh, a constructor because this is a class, a, a, a class. Uh, this constructor takes two parameters. The destination number that's uh, gonna be sent SMS message from your Android device or your uh, SMS gateway server, and the message the body uh, gonna be also take as a parameter into this uh, SMS gateway constructor. And let's define another function that is uh, allow us to send SMS message to the destination number. Here, uh, we have to just uh, define a variable which. Uh, contains all parameters uh, by appending the values of the parameters. For example, the token you have to define in the above uh, and append self dot token. And as I have told you uh, previously, there is a parameter that send to send to means it is just uh, a string that a subscriber for number, uh, which means a subscriber for number. All required characters are allowed. Just uh, this is a parameter, and we have to just assign the destination number to the send to parameter, and the body which contains the message, SMS message that's going to be sent to the destination number. So you have to append this SMS message to this body, and the device ID is very important. So you have to just uh, use your your, your own uh, device ID here. Uh, okay, now we have finished uh, defining our payload. And finally, just uh, sending a, a HTTP request to uh, the SMS gateway, uh, including the payload and URL. And uh, the method is post because we are, we are just uh, uh, sending requests, uh, uh, posting uh, new SMS to SMS gateway. The, so the SMS gateway just uh, send SMS to the destination numbers. Okay. So we have to just uh, uh, pass the parameter URL, the URL, and the identifier, which contains the data, all the parameters are just appended in a single variable. And the headers, the headers I already defined here. So this is a request. Finally, just send this HTTP, HTTP request and uh, return the response. The response is uh, gonna be, either uh, failure or success. If it is successfully sent the message, so it's just return the success message and we can just uh, confirm that the message is uh, sent to the destination number. Otherwise, it's just uh, return the error message, which means there is something that the message is not successfully sent to the destination. Okay, now we have finished our uh, function and let's uh, just, test the code, okay? Uh, then we define uh, in the testing, we have to just uh, create an object, uh, SMS uh, object, uh, which takes two parameters, uh, destination number and SMS message that's gonna be sent. Uh, so we have to just uh, put, you have to put your number, your destination number, phone number, and the message that uh, you wanna send uh, send to the destination number, okay? Uh, and we just create an object, SMS uh, gateway 24 and pass the parameters number and text as a, an argument to uh, this SMS gateway object. And finally, let's print this. Okay, that's good. Now uh, let's uh, test our code, test our code. and. Let's check it. If you uh, use a prompt to allow you to write your own uh, customized message, you can just use, hi, this is my test, okay? 
So if the message is successfully sent to the destination number, it's a return uh, success message. Yeah, uh, as you can see, error is zero. This is the response from the SMS gateway. Uh, the SMS uh, ID is uh, this one. And the message SMS has been successfully, uh, has been saved successfully. So this is a success message, which means the message is successfully sent to the destination uh, phone number. So if there is something uh, here, so it's just a return error message here as a uh, SMS, as a message. So this is very uh, simple and easy uh, way of uh, developing your script uh, to send SMS uh, message to any destination number. You can use this uh, model, uh, this uh, model to uh, develop an application, for example, Flask application or any other application, and you can just uh, send uh, uh, any SMS message to any numbers, any destination numbers uh, without uh, limitation. Because this SMS uh, uh, gateway is a free gateway and it allows uh, you to send unlimited uh, number of messages, okay? So this is uh, all about uh, today's lesson. If you like this uh, tutorial, uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like this video.